The COVID-19 pandemic highlighted the critical role of laboratory testing in the field of medicine. Behind the walls of these laboratories are professionals called medical technologists who perform and analyze the results of complex scientific tests on blood and bodily fluids. These highly trained professionals work in hospitals and independent laboratories using sophisticated procedures and equipment. In the Philippines, medical technology practice can be traced back to the period of Spanish occupation. In the late 16th century, the Spanish Empire had occupied Luzon and established Manila as their capital. Along with the Spanish occupiers came the members of religious orders aiming to spread the Catholic faith to the archipelago. These various religious orders established hospitals for the poor, and institutions of higher learning. In 1887, the Spanish colonial authorities established the Laboratorio Municipal de Manila for the laboratory examination of food, water and clinical samples. It was the forerunner of the modern laboratory in the country. One of the well-known historical figures of the said laboratory, was the Philippine war hero General Antonio Luna who was employed in 1894 as a chemical expert and pioneered environmental studies, water testing and forensics in the Philippines. During the American occupation, the Philippines had its first most advanced laboratory. The biology laboratory of the Bureau of Science built in 1904 was used for the investigation of causes, pathology and methods of diagnosing and combating human diseases. The Philippines was making inroads in the delivery of healthcare services. The advent of World War II however, decimated the said advances, from the ashes of war, the remnants of the laboratory left by the United States Army, started as the seeds towards the modernization of the Philippine medical technology profession, guided by Filipinos themselves. Fooled by the desire to uplift the profession and enhance its recognition, PAMA came into being in 1963. Holding its very first annual convention in 1964. In just a short span of five years, its efforts paid off, with the Philippine Medical Technology Act enacted into law. By 1973, PAMIT was officially recognized as the only accredited professional organization of registered medical technologists in the Philippines. So many illustrious names had added sheen and brilliance to the practice of medical technology in the country. From pioneers like Dr. Pio de Rota and Dr. Prudentia Santana, to the first PAMIT president and to the successive PAMIT presidents who rose to the challenge of their times. Each working tirelessly, as PAMIT expands to other parts of the country, through the formation of chapters in various provinces and locales. Professionalizing its ranks. Introducing innovations to modernize the profession. Lobbying the government to accord medtechs the recognition and importance they deserve. Positioning medical technologists as partners of health and hygiene of local communities. Raising the profile of medical technologists as among the best in the world. Today, the Filipino medtech has emerged as an indispensable pillar in Philippine healthcare. And a vital partner in sustaining the health of Filipino communities. This is the Philippine Association of Medical Technologists. PAMID. Proud to represent world-class Filipino medical technologists.